Hey everyone, I'm Clive. Hey, and I'm Louis. Hello, I'm Akush. And today we are going to be talking about the ISO 19650 templates. In our industry, BIM is a bit of a challenge and lots of teams have lots of different ideas about how much BIM they should do, when they should do it, and why, the purpose. And with all of those differences of opinion, we end up sometimes with duplicate effort. Here in the example where we've got four different teams modeling the same thing, potentially at different times. And a lot of challenges, many, many challenges, ranging from not really understanding what the requirements are to sequencing work that maybe causes clashes that ends up in rework and lots of difficulties in communication. So along comes the ISO 19650 standard to really, really help our industry. We have been super excited about this and it's all about aligning expectations and providing this framework to manage information and have a unified approach. It's so, so important that everyone talks about the same, same requirements in the same way. So that's what the ISO 19650 series is all about. And there's some fantastic ex explanations about the process steps and the different things that need to occur at different stages throughout the project. So there are these eight steps that are unpacked in diagrams with lots and lots of detailed requirements. And as a result of that, there are a lot of documents that might need to be created. And they are created by different teams at different stages throughout the project. They range from the organizational, the project, the exchange, the asset, execution planning, responsibility matrix and task and master information delivery plans, race C charts, and also many others. So there's lots and lots of outputs that are required as a result of these steps in the workflow. If, if you feel overwhelmed by that, uh, you're not the only one. There are many, many teams out there that are experiencing the same thing. Uh, so don't worry, you're in the right place. We're here to help as well as all of the great guidance and other documentation that's out there already. So how can we help? Let's take a look maybe at the workflow that we can unpack inside of Planoly. The first thing is that you'll notice when you start a project in Planoly, you get options to choose which of those documents you would like to start in the plan and be able to then start completing them or create your own. And then in the scope, we provide many libraries of whether it's abstract geometry or detailed elements and all of the information requirements for even that asset information model and the master information delivery plan items. And then also the third part, not only creating all of those requirements, but being able to filter them and print them so that they are dedicated appointment contracts at the end of the day. That's really a, a very quick preview of what we are going to unpack and show, but we would love to hear who we have on the call. So let me launch a poll that I'll keep open for just a little bit. I can see lots of folks coming in already. Where are you on this journey? Are you just starting to learn? Are you boosting your knowledge? You've known about the ISO standard for a bit and now you're boosting your knowledge. Or are you on the other end of the spectrum where you're implementing it on most of your projects and you're potentially a Jedi? So let me uh, end the poll in three, two, one. We can see with the results there. Oh, let me share results. Uh, we can see with the results there that there are many people that are just starting to learn and, and many people that are boosting their knowledge actually what do we got there? 88%, uh, so nearly 90% of people. That, so we're here to help. 